Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we will understand what digital transformation is about. In the earlier video, we had understood the need for digital transformation. If you have not seen the video, the link to the video is given in the description to this video. To revise, the need for digital transformation is about having access to the information and having tools that provide better insight into customer needs, people and process experiences and thus influence value enhancement. Before we embark, on to understanding what digital transformation is about, let's quickly understand what a business is and its expanse, specifically in relation to data being generated. As we are all aware, generating profits is the underlying motive of any business. And this profit is derived by offering products and services. These products and services have a market of customers and end users who generate the demand for the products and services. It is the business team which is responsible for all activities required for generating the profit given a business environment. So let's have a look at the spread of the activities of this team through which it generates value and thus profits. I will be frequently using the term team to address everyone involved in the business activity relevant to the discussion in context. The horizontal expanse or the first dimension spreads from the supplies of the raw materials or components through manufacturing or processing as the case may be to customer or end user. Supplier mean the team must handle variety of materials as well as processes for procurement. They must ensure that the processes are interoperable for seamless operations and there is due visibility at every stage. This is important so that corrective or preventive actions can be taken as and where required if things go wrong or tend to go wrong. The manufacturing part must ensure that it produces the required quantity in a specified time period and to the quality standards as promised to the customer. A point to note is that the demand quantity may be fluctuating and there may be different variants as well as grade of the products. Though what you see on the screen is a simplified linear process, the actual horizontal expanse is practically made of many cross-link path or layers. The most important element of this horizontal expanse is the customer. Every business aims to have a happy customer. If the happy customer gets converted to a loyal customer, not only does he keep coming back to you, but has the potential of becoming your brand ambassador. Naturally translates to higher sales and thereby higher revenues. Now you can see that if the team has a clear visibility across this complete expanse, it will be able to improve value, say to start with, by removing non-valuable processes and activities from the business and consumer experiences. Now let's have a look at the second dimension or vertical expanse of a business. The business team must work through multiple set of activities and that too iteratively before the mass production can start. This set of activities are as displayed on the screen. To start with, one has to design a product or service based on customer need, which is then followed by costing and estimates, planning for delivery of the product or service, design of the process, planning of the organization and the staff required, planning of resources, men and material both, logistics planning, the plant layout for production for optimal workflow and final production planning. Depending on the variability in the products, a business may have one or more production units and thus multiple production plants. Again, do take a note of the large requirements of data points for effective and efficient monitoring and control of this vertical expanse. The third dimension to a manufacturing business is the maintenance of the machinery setup. Something which is extremely important for a production aspect of a business, its lifeline. Quantity produced, quality produced and in the time prescribed entirely depends on maintenance of machinery and systems. Each machine or a system throws up huge amount of data which needs to be carefully monitored and acted upon. Some standard ones are as shown on the left of the screen. In my video on corrective maintenance, we'll deal with them in some more details. To keep the unit productive, the team needs to continuously monitor the status of all plants, have a comprehensive maintenance plans which 
will not have a unproductive downtime have a comprehensive space plan so that the right amount of spares are available at right time manage an optimal inventory by keeping track of in process products finished products consumables and spares all this done along with optimization of shutdowns so that productivity is not affected the team must juggle with all the above inputs being generated from across all the units to maintain a continuous competitive edge having seen the three dimensions of business expanse let us turn up attention to the product life cycle now this dimension or facet is not new but with the digital era it has acquired a new significance these are the smart products these products are expected not only to provide their identity but also describe the status and life cycle history because it is from this information the team can show significant amount of intelligence about events from production stages to consumer usage and about upcoming maintenance operations the broad stages in the product life cycle and some data points relevant to these are raw material and components this is information about material ingredients source stability data production on integration when where made packaging components batch details production line and factory distribution logistic details stock location quantity produced and performance of third logistic companies warehousing store locations inventory levels product authenticity and product shelf life sales store locations shopper engagement purchase volumes changes in demand post sales live usage and consumption data proactive monitoring behavioral patterns example who is the user when used where used how often and even promotion response retire or recycle replenishment data for the product or its components where recycled sustainable data or information pertaining to change of ownership great having understood the need for digital transformation and seen the four dimensions of a business expanse let us move to understand what does digital transformation actually mean again let's take a few baby steps first step digitization of operations is nothing but converting information from analog domain to digital domain that is into zeros and ones simple examples being emails instead of letters computer generated documents in place of typewritten documents old magnetic audio tapes replaced by audio cds and photographic films by digital images these changes not only improve quality but aid fast and easy storage and retrieval second step digitalization of company operations which is an organizational or business process this has resulted in new processes like automation manufacturing execution system or mes erp plm electronic payments video conferencing e learning paperless offices so on and so forth the third step being the digital transformation this term itself is hotly debated however in general terms we can define digital transformation as the integration of digital technology into all areas of a business resulting in fundamental changes to how businesses operate and how they deliver value to customers focused as well as broad spectrum analytics automated decision making visualization prognostics are some result areas of digital transformation other than technological aspects digital transformation has a human side too which deals with human and technology interface and adoption it's about a culture change i would recommend visit to the displayed website for a more nuanced understanding in broader terms digital transformation is about enhancing and deriving value through customer experience operational agility culture and leadership workforce enablement digital technology integration to sum up digital transformation is the core requirement for efficient and effective decision making execution of individual as well as integrate task or process to maintain a competitive edge in part 2 of what is digital transformation we will get a bit deeper into this topic for better understanding 
Thank you and have a good day.